Hey guys, it's Steven and Ellie the Chihuahua here. We upload new videos every Sunday on the Relax My Dog YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be talking about ways you can get your dog to stop barking. So if you want to learn more, keep on watching. Before we discuss the topic of this video, I just wanted to apologise because I am feeling really unwell this week, I am full of cold. Ellie is also smack bang in the middle of heat, hence why she is lying down and does not want to know anyone today. But we are still going to discuss how you can prevent your dog from excessive barking, so let's get to it. I think it's important to identify and understand why your dog is barking, you need to see the motivation. In Ellie's case, a lot of the reason she barks when she's at home is because she can see someone outside when she is looking out the window or she can see another dog. So one way to prevent that from happening is obviously to close your um, blinds, close your curtains and don't allow your dog to look out and get themselves worked up and get into a barking frenzy. So yeah, identify why your dog is barking and remove that stimulus. Once you've removed the stimulus, if your dog is still barking, the, the most important thing I've learned to do is to ignore your dog. And that might seem a little bit strange because, you know, you want to tell them to be quiet. You don't want to just allow it to happen. But if you start shouting back at your dog, the dog can perceive that as you barking with them and it can actually be quite counterproductive. So the best way to um, stop them from barking or make them realize they shouldn't be barking is just to completely ignore them, make them realize they're not gonna get any attention from barking, so it's in their interest to, to stop. Once your dog does stop barking, you need to um, praise them, obviously, make them realize it is a good thing not to bark. You can do that by giving them a treat, um, giving them a big cuddle, whatever your dog enjoys or sees as a reward. Make sure you do that as soon as they stop barking and they will quickly realize that being quiet is the best thing to be. For me personally, the most effective way um, to keep Ellie from barking at least is to make sure she is well stimulated throughout the day has a long walk and is pretty much tired. If your dog is trapped inside the house all day and doesn't get much exercise, then they may actually bark because they're bored. So for me, that is the most effective way to stop my dog from barking. Ellie is thoroughly tired today, so she's been very, very uh, quiet. Point proven. Now there are other ways that you can teach your dog to be quiet. I'm not a qualified dog trainer, so I don't want to give out the wrong advice, but I know for a fact the speak and quiet command is very effective. A lot of people do this by saying speak a few times, two or three times at your dog until it does eventually bark back. Then praise your dog with a treat and eventually it will learn the speak command and will be able to bark on cue. That's when you teach them the quiet command. So you would tell them to speak, let them bark, and once they've barked a few times, then say quiet. As soon as your dog stops barking, give them the treat and they will soon learn to associate that command with being very quiet. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when we're going to be uploading our next video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any more effective ways to get your dog to stop barking. We upload new videos every Sunday on the Relax My Dog YouTube channel and we will see you next week. Say bye, Ellie. Say bye. Let's let her sleep. Bye.